So I know for many of you, the spring and summer season is just beginning and that's understandably super exciting as you can start to put away all those heavy winter clothes as your wardrobe shifts into a more spring and summery vibe. As I do live in Australia, I found heading into the latest spring and summer period, which started towards the end of last year, um, is that I had no nice or new t-shirts that I really wanted to wear. And the reason behind this is I just found myself wearing the same like four to eight t-shirts on repeat, either under a hoodie or under a jacket. And so over the past five months of winter, nobody actually saw the t-shirts that I was wearing. And so I didn't really put too much thought into which ones I was wearing because nobody was seeing them. So when I found myself transitioning from winter to spring, I found myself having to do a big revamp on my t-shirt collection just because I didn't have any which I was happy to wear. So with considering all that, now that my summer period has come to an end, I wanna share with you guys everything that I've learned and what I've learned to be the four varieties of teas that I believe everyone should consider having in their wardrobe for this spring and summer period. Now let's get right into it. So what is good my guys and welcome back to the channel. Now if you're new here, my name is Josh and I'm an Australian who makes content on all the latest in streetwear and men's fashion. So if that's something that you're into, feel free to join the channel by smashing that subscribe button below as I'd really love to have you as a part of my channel. And anyways guys, let's get into my top four varieties of t-shirts that I reckon you guys should look at considering to have in your wardrobe for the spring and summer period. So as you can see, I have 15 shirts on the rack behind me and then I also have the one I'm wearing right now. Um, I just think t-shirts are such a summer essential that it's important that you have like a really nice variety of t-shirts for kind of all different purposes in a way. Um, as trust me, people will notice if you're wearing the same shirt or kind of shirt everywhere you are going. Um, and so with that being said, I wanna jump into the first of my four varieties and that is going to be vintage tees. So like I said, the first variety of tees I personally feel everyone should be looking into for this spring and summer is vintage tees. Now, I really wanna be clear on this that I'm not talking about like vintage wash tees, I'm talking about like genuine vintage tees and I'll tell you why I mean that in a minute. Now, I personally started to look into getting vintage tees after I went to my first ever thrift market and then I was further inspired after I looked more into Travis Scott's kind of style as after he released Astral World at the end of last year, I really wanted to look more into how he dressed because I liked it. Um, and I found out that he wore a lot of vintage tees. So the thing that inspired me most about how Travis wore his vintage tees is just the fit of them. The most notable one that I can remember is that red one that he wore in the Sicko Mode video. It just looked like it fit so nicely. Um, and I also just liked the unique prints that he has. I just thought they were cool. And that inspired me to go and find some pieces of my own. Now, since then, this is what I've managed to pick up. Um, it doesn't really matter too much where they come from. Like my favorite one out of the lot here, including the one I'm wearing, is this vintage Tim McGraw tee from 1994. Um, it's just the basic band tee from back then. I just think that the graphic is really cool. Um, always it could be not like a band tee or anything. This is just an old independent trucks tee. Uh, I just really liked the graphic on it and just thought it had a bit of a nostalgia to the skate scene back in the day. But yeah, like it doesn't really matter too much. Each tee kind of tells a story of the era that was produced as each one would have been through like a bunch of different things as they you know age. Um, like this one coming from 1994, I only got it within the last year. What has it been doing for the rest of its lifetime? Um, who knows? And I think that's a really cool thing about vintage tees. And that is what I think you should look into getting genuine vintage tees instead of just vintage wash tees as the aging process of genuine vintage tees is just more like unique and genuine, I guess, compared to just like a vintage wash. And another thing I really love about vintage tees is that you are incredibly unlikely to find someone who has a copy of the same shirt that you have as these shirts are no longer being mass produced and they are now stuck at a finite quantity, um, especially for some of the more rare ones, such as my Timbergore one, like it'd be so hard to find anyone else who has the same shirt as they are obviously no longer being sold on shelves. Um, and this really just makes them quite unique to like your taste and it makes them unique to your wardrobe as well. As if somebody might like that shirt, they, they can't get it unless they go and really dig to try and find it as they can't just rock up to the mall and buy the same shirt as you. And so that really kind of makes your wardrobe a little bit more unique um, to your taste as you found a shirt that you like that not everyone else can have. Now, if you're considering to start looking into getting some vintage tees, you might be wondering as to where to find them and it's not gonna be at your local mall. Um, I mentioned this in 
videos before, um, you can probably go and try out your local thrift market, but I haven't really had too much luck myself with doing that. It's a little bit hit and miss sometimes. But if you're looking to, you know, go and dig around to find some of your own, you definitely have a look at online stores such as Grail, Depop, um, Etsy, and possibly even eBay. Um, it's really up to how hard you're willing to dig through these sites to find the piece that you're looking for, as there is also like a whole lot of crap on those sites as well. There are definitely some stores which specialize in selling vintage pieces, um, and they kind of take out the workload for you as they're the ones who are sifting through all the rubbish pieces and picking out the nice ones and listing them on their store. And they'll often be a little bit more expensive than what I think you could find the pieces for if you went and looked for them for yourself. But yeah, I found plenty of super nice pieces like the ones here from around like $25 to $45, which really like isn't too bad for like a piece which you're gonna wear quite frequently. And a piece that is really unique to your wardrobe, it's not too much of a price to pay um, when you're comparing it to other types of tees such as designer um, and like the newer stuff. Now, another thing in regards to pricing is that not all of these tees are gonna be very cheap. There are gonna be tees which are going for like several hundreds of dollars, probably even to thousands of dollars, depending on their condition and the year they were made and what the t-shirt might represent. Um, as I know, like some band tees from like the 70s to the 90s will go for quite a lot of money. Now, if you're on a budget and you're looking to grab some vintage tees, I would highly recommend looking at getting some Harley Davidson tees. Now, Harley Davidson tees are pretty easy to find. They're pretty abundant which is awesome as it keeps their prices pretty cheap. Now in saying that, I've actually never seen two of the same Harley Davidson shirts as all their designs are like super unique and I think that's just super awesome as well. Um, and I also find that they're always made out of like a nice thick cotton and so that they've aged well and they're not gonna deteriorate too bad after you buy them. I also just like to collect them from like different parts of the world. The one I'm wearing is from Florida and then this one here is from Texas. Susie bought both of these back for me from Nashville. And then obviously I have this one that I've shown on the channel a couple of times, and it's from Oregon. I just think it's a nice kind of cool thing to do, just collecting pieces from around the world and from different states of America. And so now I'm gonna move on to the next variety of tea that I wanna show you guys, and that's gonna be button ups. Now the next variety of tea that I've been wearing throughout my spring and summer has been a thin button up. Um, this is just best for like beach days or just days that you know it's gonna be hot and that you're gonna be outside and you wanna kinda of keep cool. Now, as you can see, I have two of these types of tops. Obviously, I have my pleasures one, which I've shown to the channel before. Um, and that is made out of pure cotton, so it is a little bit heavier than my most recent pickup. Um, and that being this Stussy one. Um, the Stussy one is made out of a material called rayon, which has quite a nice silky feel to it. I think it might be a little bit thinner and lighter than the cotton one, and so it's slightly cooler, but otherwise these are both really nice, cool, solid pieces. Now the thing I like most about owning these types of tops is that there's really almost no limit to the level of occasion that they can be worn to, um, as they're really easily dressed up or played down a bit. So I'm just going to throw a couple of shots up on screen of two ways that I would style this dusty top in regards to a casual way and a more formal way. As you can see with the super casual look, you can rock them with just shorts and slides, or you could even possibly just wear it unbuttoned for like a super relaxed look. Great for like beach days or just days when you're lounging around. On the other hand, you can be paired with a nice pair of trousers and boots, and you can even tuck it in and wear it with a belt for an even more formal kind of look. So as you can see, there's quite a large possibility as to how you can wear these types of shirts. It's really just up to how and where you want to take it. Now for anyone looking to try and to get into this type of style or just want to you know, branch out and try this type of tee, um, I would definitely say go and look to buy them with a looser fit. Just too many times do I see guys who are wearing this type of shirt and it's just absolutely skin tight and they just look like a toddler. Like it just looks so ridiculous. Especially like bulked up guys. Like I understand they want to show off their rig, but like it really just ruins the relaxed vibe that this type of shirts create. So please, if you are looking to buy a shirt of this kind of style, do look to buy it with a nice loose flowing fit. Obviously not too big, but just enough that you have plenty of range of movement and that it's not like sticking to your skin. And you'll really end up enjoying this type of style as it is really just quite relaxing. Now, both of these pieces that I have here are about $60 Australian each, though I do know there are plenty of cheaper alternatives out there if that's what you're after. I also do believe that if you're willing to go and have a look through thrift and vintage stores, you can definitely find some really nice, unique prints of this type of shirt for quite a cheap price as well, if that's what you're looking for. And so this leads me to the third variety of tea that I reckon everyone should own in their wardrobe for spring and summer, and that is gonna be a nice, clean designer t-shirt. Mm -hmm. 
Now, as I just said, the next type of teas that I reckon everyone should own at least one of in their spring and summer wardrobe is a nice, clean designer t-shirt. Now, I know a lot of designer teas can be like through the roof in regards to their price and it's just so expensive and like it isn't even comprehensible for me at the moment um, in regards to how much those t-shirts cost as it's just a t-shirt. I don't see why it's worth $700. But in regards to my personal collection, these are the three teas that I managed to pick up. Um, as you would have seen in previous videos, I've shown all of these teas. Um, I've made a video on both of these Fear of God Essentials teas. If you want to go check that out, that'll be below. And I've also made a vlog on me going to pop up where they're selling these Tommy Hilfiger Crest Collection 6 t-shirts. Um, and that is what I've got here as well. Um, and these are the three designer tees that are a part of my collection. Now, I personally like owning these types of shirts. And the reason why I think everyone should own at least one of these shirts in their collection is just for occasions where you want to dress up, you want to feel nice, you want to feel that you know, you're know you looking clean, um, but you don't want to wear like a button up or be too formal about it and you still want to wear a t-shirt. And that's where these t-shirts are perfect. Now I know there's often quite a lot of hype around these types of brands and then these types of designer t-shirts. Um, and I'm not specifically saying that you need hyped t-shirts in your wardrobe. That's kind of really up to personal opinion. If you want to wear hyped t-shirts, you know, by all means go right ahead. Uh, I'm talking more specifically about like the quality of the pieces in regards to their materials and their cut. Now in regards to pricing, all three of these pieces cost about $70 each, which is probably about the peak that I would pay for a cotton t-shirt at the moment. Um, but yeah, whenever I wear this kind of shirt, I kind of just feel like I have my shit together a bit more. Um, and it makes me feel good that I have something a bit nicer to wear, which isn't like a formal button up or an actual formal shirt. Um, and so it means that I can dress up and still be comfy you know, just in a cotton shirt. Um, it's just nice to have that extra option in my wardrobe. Um, if you're into polos, if that's your style, then you could definitely add that into this category. I'm just not too much into polos, so that's why I don't own one. But if that's something that you're into, you can definitely include that in this category. And so yeah, guys, that wraps up designer t-shirts. Now we're gonna move on to the fourth variety shirt I think everyone should incorporate in their spring and summer wardrobe, and that is being colors. Now I left this variety to last because it is a variety that could incorporate pieces from any of the three previous varieties that I've already talked to you about today. But I just think incorporating a bit of color into your spring and summer wardrobe is so important that would give it its own category. Now, as it is spring and summer, you're gonna notice that the sun's gonna come out a bit more. It's gonna be a bit brighter, a bit warmer. You know, flowers are gonna start blooming, more animals are gonna be around. And just like the overall liveliness of wherever you live is gonna increase as people wanna be outside more and be more active um, as it's much nicer outside. And just a great way to work with that and the season is to wear more colors. Now, I think I probably mentioned in one of the earliest videos on my channel that I used to be the type of person who would only wear blacks, whites, and grays. And I used to do that just because it was so much easier to you know, put together an outfit because black, white, and gray will always go well together. Like no matter what pieces they are, they'll always fit well together. Now, it wasn't until I kind of started caring more about what I was wearing that I started to do some more experimentation with colors. Um, and experimenting with just color blocking and it kind of just added an extra dimension onto my outfits. And that is why I would really encourage you guys to do some more experimentation with colors throughout spring and summer as it will really lift your spring and summer outfits. So my personal favorite brand to find some color as you can probably see from behind me is Guess Los Angeles. Guess over like the past year or so have really revised what they're doing and have started to put out some really nice like stripy tees with a huge range of color. So as you can see, I have four behind me, one, two, three, four. And I also have my Neon Pleasure shirt as I showed in my uh, 2019 Trends video here, um, as that is quite a nice pop of color that is on trend at the moment. Now, in regards to pricing, the guest shirts and the pleasure shirts, I think they went for about 50 to $60 each, uh, which is probably a little bit more expensive than I would have looked to pay for these types of pieces. But if you're looking for a cheaper alternative and you want to get on that stripy color block wave, which is currently trending in t-shirts right now, you can definitely find some cheaper alternatives from brands such as Stussy, Wrangler, and Kaha. Um, I know they're producing really nice alternative pieces to the guest ones that are probably the most popular at the moment. Anyways guys, that wraps up the four varieties of teas that I think everyone should incorporate into their spring and summer wardrobe for this upcoming spring and summer season. Let me know in the comments below what wardrobe changes you're gonna make throughout this up and coming spring and summer period. And also let me know what teas you might add to your wardrobe for this upcoming season that I mentioned in today's video. 
If you're new to my channel and you've made it this far in the video, don't forget to go and hit that subscribe button below as you don't want to miss out on the future videos that I have planned. Also, if you like today's video, don't forget to go give it a thumbs up as it shows me that I am doing the right things. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching today and just spending a little bit of your day here with me on the channel. I really appreciate your continued support as my channel is about to reach 300 subscribers and that is a great milestone for me considering we only hit 200 subscribers probably a little over a month ago. Um, but yeah, until the next video guys, this has been your boy Joshua and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. But, hello. Look who it is.